Welcome to Uncaged Zoo Tours. Before we begin, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and that bell icon to join the zoo team. We're back at the Birmingham Zoo. So far, we drove into the forests and savannas of Africa and took a hike through the wilds of Alabama. And now it's time to see some primates and creatures of South America. Despite the name, it also features animals not only from South America, but also Africa, Madagascar, Southeast Asia, and the oceans of the Indo-Pacific. In this episode, we'll learn about how invasive species can be a problem and what we need to do to save the planet. So let's begin. Our journey starts at the bottom of a hill, just past the flamingos. After walking up the hill, you'll meet the white-handed or lar gibbon. Gibbons are not only known for their acrobatics, but their vocals, which they can use to warn intruders that this territory is theirs. Just next door to the Gibbons is part one of our next stop, but it's freezing, so we'll go inside to see it Jeff Roy's Spider Monkeys. Believe it or not, the Spider Monkeys can go to Ether Exhibit thanks to an overhead tunnel, depending on the weather. Like the Gibbons, they're known for swinging through the treetops, but unlike the Yapes, they have hook-like hands and a prehensile tail, which can be used as a safety line or fifth limb. Next, we'll enter the building with large viewing areas for each exhibit. The next two animals in the building are from Madagascar. First is the ring-tailed lemur. Everyone knows King Julian from Madagascar, but in real life, the females oversee the troop. Ring-tailed lemurs are known to rub their synth glands on their tails and use them to engage in a stink fight. But they're not alone. Their roommate is a crowned lemur. Surprisingly, 17 lemur species are on the endangered species list. So now we're back in South America with a two-toed sloth named Ronaldo. Sloths are not only the world's slowest mammal, but they're much faster in water than on land and are colorblind. Ronaldo also lives with a cotton top tamarind. Cotton top tamarinds help the rainforest by spreading seeds. So now we're in the African rainforest with the Brazos monkeys. Even though they have an Italian name, they live in the swamps of Africa. When predators are nearby, they curl up into a ball and wait until the predator leaves. Unlike most monkeys, the AZA manages to be brought as monkey under the species' survival plan, even though it's least concerned on the IUCN. This is because the monkey is threatened with deforestation and bushmeat hunting. Across from them is a diorama of the world's primates and their lookalikes. Many years ago, this contained a black and white ruffed lemur, but now this exhibit contains squirrel monkeys. Unlike spider monkeys, squirrel monkeys use their tails for balance. They're very intelligent and are highly vocal with over 25 different calls. Next is your last chance to see the Brazos monkey and their roommates, Cape Porcupines. Cape Porcupines are Africa's largest rodent. When threatened, the porcupine charges to stab the predator with its quills. Sometimes, they can retreat into their burrow and expose their quills as another act of intimidation. I'm warning you that there is an invasive species ahead, 
And then the next room is a tank for lionfish. They have venomous dorsal spines, which may not be fatal to humans. However, they, the victim may experience extreme pain, headaches, vomiting, and breathing difficulties. They're not only venomous, but also invasive. Meaning that they're not from that area. Normally found in the Indo-Pacific, lionfish are invasive to the Caribbean, Northern South America, and the coast of Florida. These lionfish rotate with a red snapper. On the wall behind you are signs that educate you on how invasive species can be a problem. Ahead is a sign showcasing how large animals play a big role in sustaining the Amazon. Maybe you can hear our next animal before you see them. It's the Howler Monkey, the loudest animal on Earth. Their howls can travel up to three miles away. It's believed that these monkeys need these howls to protect their territory, and it's all thanks to their large lyrics, or voice box. Through the doors is a grassy field home to Carlito, the giant anteater. Giant anteaters are related to sloths and armadillos. When they're hungry, they find an ant or termite mound, rip the mound open with their sharp claws, and lap up the insects with their long tongue. Then they swallow them whole, because they don't have teeth. Back inside, as we come face to face with the world's third largest cat, Con the Jaguar. Jaguars are masters at swimming and climbing. Even though they prefer rainforests, they can be found in grasslands and even deserts. Khan's exhibit was once home to a gorilla named Babek, an icon of the city. If you want to read about his story, click on the link in the description. Behind Khan's exhibit is a panorama of the zoo's conservation efforts. In the next room, you can learn about what other animals share a jaguar's range, how photos can identify a jaguar's activity patterns and even their tracks. Animals are giant otters Laura and Katrina. Unfortunately, their exhibit was blocked off, but that's okay, because that gives me another chance to talk about them another time. After crossing the bridge, you'll encounter an aviary, which indicates we went from South America to East Africa. First are speckled mouse birds, the largest species of mouse bird. Then there's the more prominent golden weaver, who are known for their huge nests made of grass for raising a family. Finally is the animal you've been waiting for, the Sumatran orangutan. Orangutans are the second largest great apes, and are also the world's largest arboreal mammal. The zoo is home to three. The male, Oliver, the female, Lips, and the most active of them all is Nari. Orangutans are in danger due to deforestation due to palm oil. The easiest way to help these great apes is by producing sustainable palm oil, a type of palm oil that decreases the amount of negative impact on their habitat. By helping orangutans, other species that live in the area like the Sumatran tiger and the Sumatran elephant are affected as well. In a few months, the orangutans will leave this building and move to Asian Passage, 
which will also feature a tiger, a red panda, gibbets, and a few other species. I look forward to showcasing this exhibit once it opens. And that concludes our tropical adventure. From here, you can go through the building again for round two, or you can continue down the path to Trails of Africa, where you'll meet a, eat a bachelor herd of African elephants and some lesser known African animals. Thank you for watching. Next time we're at the Birmingham Zoo, we'll meet some slimy and scaly critters.